Welcome back to For Real. My name's Claire, and I live with my husband Jeremy in Siem Reap, Cambodia. In this video, we'll explore an area that's about 10 kilometres southwest of Siem Reap town, and we'll ride along scenic dirt roads to a beautiful countryside pagoda with some very unusual features. After that, we'll end up at the fantastic plane house that was featured in the Cambodian news a while back. I know videos like this don't get as many views as the more practical ones like apartment tours or cost of living, things like that. But these videos are my passion, and they're my way of showing you the great things about living in Siem Reap. If you think of the practical videos as the how, then these videos are like my why. For those of you who like to come exploring with me, this video is slightly longer than usual at about 18 minutes. I hope you enjoy it. Well, this is the turnoff I'm looking for. This is BBU Road, but out of town past the Ring Road. And I might go in that direction afterwards, but my first destination for today is inside there. Looks exciting, hey? BBU Road is very, very hot and dusty, but I think you'll agree this looks a lot more pleasant. So I've got a few kilometers down here, I think. See how it goes anyway. Isn't this just beautiful? Look at the color of the rice there. all about. I don't think it's too much further to the what that I'm visiting today. I very nearly arrived at my destination. It's about 10 kilometers from the um, center of Siem Reap, so not that far, about half along BBU and then half along this dirt road here. But it's certainly getting very green and picturesque out here. I can see the Watt buildings just over there getting very excited saw this place on the map and had to come. How interesting does that building look? I'm excited to get over there. I just hope there is no welcoming committee on duty today. That's the entrance road that I just came in on. And this place is called Wat Chedi. There is evidence of an Angkorian era structure here, maybe even earlier, I'm not sure. But go and have a look at that in a minute. There's another one of these shrines here with um, and linger, a few other odds and ends. There's a few people sitting around, just chilling. Okay, so this is the main building of the modern Wat, I think. I'll go in and have a look. And then we'll look at the ancient one after that. I feel like there could be a storm coming. Isn't that always the way? Go on one of these rides. And something happens. Something always happens. Not too much beyond the usual stuff here. So I think I'll head across to the older structure and take a look around there. have here a bit of a mix of the new and the old by the looks there you go and at the bottom here is a um, modern crocodile and this place yeah, I'd read about this lintel here. I don't know whether you can see the detail on that, but it's incredible. The um, 
The Nag is on the left-hand side there. Incredible. There's an elephant in the middle. Well, actually, three of them, I think. And more snakes on that side, more Nagas. Fabulous. Oh, inside there's some modern Buddha stuff going on. There's a big reclining Buddha at the back there. I'm just going to have a quick look around to see if there's an Apsara marker for this place. But yeah, they're right about that lintel. It's gorgeous. I think I read somewhere that this place had been stuccoed over. So um, a lot of what was there you can't see anymore. I could go up that ladder and have a look. What do you reckon? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Starting to get quite overcast here. Yeah, see if there was a carving above this door, it's been it's been covered and you can't see it. Of course, no ticket required to visit a site like this. And as usual with a site like this, you're gonna have it all to yourself. I give you the for real guarantee. <laughs> Oh, check out this jackfruit. The size of that thing. That'd be... God. It's got to be half a metre long. Huge. Okay, so what's inside this other structure at the back here? What's going on? Was this part of the original ancient one? Looks a bit too square don't know. Let's go in and see. How weird. Oh, it's a modern structure. It looks like they've just stopped using it for whatever reason as they built the new one. I don't know. You can see remains of the paintings there. And the tiled floor here. I don't want to speak too soon, people, but not a single member of the welcoming committee to be seen. This building to the left here, it's a modern one. It's got some really pretty colours on the front of it. I'll go around and have a look at that and see how much of this old wooden structure I can see as well. That is a very old car, jeep, whatever the hell it is. Don't know what it is, but it's old. Check this out. Oh my goodness. So this thing is just <laughs> at the point of being taken back by the earth. Look at it. I'm scared to even lean on it. Jeez. So this is the structure that I could see before I came in. The whole floor of it's given way there. There's a bit of its um bit of its roof down there in the water. Wow. Don't know how much of that you can see, but geez, dangerous. Thought I'd come and have a closer look at this old whatever it is. It's 
another huge area just here. Bit of chanting going on, so I'll just back away quietly. Go and have a look at the other side of that that wooden building. Maybe it was just the veranda on that left-hand side that was worse for wear. Wow. Dare I venture forth? <laughs> Can it take the weight of a foreigner? I don't know. Holy heck. <laughs> I just want to go to the end here so that I can show you the view. It's so pretty. Look at this. Very worth the visit, I think. Worth the effort of getting 10k out of town. The chair's lovely, isn't it? Very nice. can see there's a set of stone stairs just over here heading down to that lotus pond just there not heading down towards much at the moment but probably when the rainy season is here in full force it'd be quite a bit higher in terms of water level wow very interesting place yeah, from what I can tell, there's no Apsara marker at this site. But when I go home, I'll look it up and add a bit more information to the screen for you. Along with a link to the Google Maps location so that you can come out here and have a poke around yourselves if you're interested. So I've parked up underneath this shady tree here. I'll have some water and a bit of a sit down, as is my kind of custom, ritual, I don't know, habit. Habit's probably the right word. Is my habit when I visit places like this. I just thought I'd stop and show you that there are houses and shops and other little things dotted along this dirt road. It's very picturesque, absolutely lovely. Definitely got a theme of dirt roads going on today. Bit of chanting, not sure if you can hear that. So, when you head down this road, there's something up there that might interest us. So, certainly interests me. Let's go and see if we can find it. I'm right in the middle of a rural village right now. I'm just going to leave the bike there for about five minutes while I go in this direction over here. Now, what is it that would bring a person out here, you might ask? Well, if you have a sharp eye or two, you might see it in the distance over there behind the palm tree. I'm seriously hoping now that I'm on foot that there is no welcoming committee present here. But you can see, and you'll be familiar with this if you're somebody who uh, watches the news moto each week. And here we are to see it with our own eyes. It is the aeroplane house right there. You might remember the story of the man who used to go to the airport and um, just sort of park up out there and watch the planes take off and land because he dreamed of being able to go in one and he thought that he'd never be able to afford an aeroplane flight so he has built his own aeroplane house and that is what we're here to see just approaching the airfield right now oh check it out there it is people photos or okay he's got a bit of a situation here he's got 4,000 real and photos or photos two dollars so I don't know that there's anybody much around but I will certainly leave some cash there um, for him 
just wonderful though. How is that? Seeing a piece of the news for myself with my very own eyes, just love it. <laughs> He's got a little cafe set up here as well. Airplane Cafe Siem Reap. How good is that? Might just go and look at it from the front. Oh, it's got a little um, little ink or what on the side of it there. There's one on the tail too. That's gold. I think um, water is a problem for these people. There's a lot of signs about water wells and things like that that I've noticed in this ride today. Here he is. Okay, he's got a lockbox here to take the money. That's excellent. So I will certainly put some money in there. That's just gold. Living the dream. Oh, he's even got like a seat set up so people can have selfies in front of it. That's cool. There is a big dark cloud coming in over there, but the colors are just popping right now. Crazy. So it's a little raised trail that you have to come along. I didn't want to ride the bike along here. Just in case there wasn't anywhere to turn around and it's too skinny. It would have been a little bit annoying. Oh, plus there's... I'll show you when we get up here. It's a bit of a broken bit there, so... Best to come on foot if you're out here. Welcoming committee. Glad he's on the other side of that water. Okay, also glad that I'm heading back to the bike right now.